Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamswarrior.com. In this tutorial, we will be going to discuss about immune system in details, different types of cells involved, and how immune cells system protects our cells from invaders. Immune system refers to set of cells, tissues, organs that protects our body from invaders or pathogens. Immune system can be broadly classified into innate and acquired immunity. Innate or inborn non-specific defense mechanism is a genetic defense mechanism that we got from very birth itself. Immune system is undoubtedly the most efficient system that just like a military system that protects our body from invaders. Just like a fortress, it, there is an external defense that forms the first line of defense. First line of defense include physical barriers like skin, mucus, nasal hairs, cilia, etc. Skin is impervious to water and majority of the pathogens cannot invade the skin and once the inside through the through our opening sometimes bacteria or virus may enter but there are mucus or nasal hairs that will eliminate or set that all throughout th from the system that will remove from the system and there are chemical barriers like skin secretes oils, sebaceous glands, this will all create some discomfort to bacteria or virus that is driving there. Inside the system in stomach you can see there is the pH is very low that will prevent the growth of bacteria then many body secretions are antibacterial like lysozyme the antibacterial making bacteria difficult to thrive and vaginal bacteria producing lactic acid making the condition acidic so that majority of the bacteria could not survive there. Then once this bacteria or pathogen has conquered these hurdles then there is a second line of defense that is the internal defense that are patrolled by many cells many types of cells one of the type one of the cells is the phagocytes phagocytes includes macrophages and wbc's neutrophils and monocytes phagocytes are cells that can engulf antigen or a pathogen or a bacteria and will eliminate degrade it and will eliminate it from the system then there are inflammatory reactions. Inflammatory reactions include redness, swelling, pain and set of collective reactions that will ultimately eliminate the pathogen from the system. Then fever, there is a rise in temperature whenever there is an attack of, of a pathogen so that this pathogen cannot replicate inside the, inside the system. Interferons are cells that are specifically directed against vi virus, viruses and induces an antiviral state to the surrounding cells. Complement system is also a non-specific defense mechanism where 20, 20 to 22 to proteins are involved and that will tie up with all these cells and ultimately with an aim to prevent the entry of this pathogen into the system further. NK cells are also involved in non-specific defense that is particularly targeted against cancerous cells and all these forms the internal defense even though there, there is some specificity this can be this defense mechanism has no specificity and that's that will that will face any pathogen and without without recognizing it and that one of the once a pathogen has entered into the bloodstream this defense mechanism will take care of and the second mechanism is acquired immunity adaptive immunity or specific de defense mechanism that includes the third line of defense once the bacteria is capable of overcoming all these first line and second line then this is subjected to the major commanders of the immune system that forms the third line of defense with high specificity that forms the active immunity active immunity the major characters are active immunity is a process by which this antigen or a pathogen comes in direct contact with immune cells the cells involved in active immunity are called as lymphocytes. Lymphocytes includes T cells, B cells and antigen. T cells and B cells. T cells includes cytotoxic T cells, helper T cells, suppressor T cells and memory T cells. And cytotoxic T cells can directly kill the cell which is infected whereas helper T cells are the commanders of the immune system that is responsible for controlling all, th all this immune activity and also eliciting higher responses in the case of B cells suppressor T cells one if, if there is heightened activity suppressor T cells will act whereas memory T cells are involved in secondary immune response that is a typical quality of active immunity and B cells are the cells that are produced B cells are the cells that are involved in antibody productions plasma cells B cells upon binding with an antigen will proliferate and forms plasma cells and memory cells 
plasma cells are responsible for antibody production and memory B cells are responsible for secondary immune response. Then third group of cell is called as antigen presenting cell that is involved in active immunity. These are cells that are in that are in the second line of defense. Actually, these are presenting these pathogens that are that pathogens to T helper cells or B cells so that there will be a specific immune response by secreting and numerous millions of antibodies into the bloodstream. And this forms the active immunity. The characteristics are it is high it is highly diverse and is highly specific and it can raise an Im there is an immunologic memory and it can raise a Im secondary immune response and this is carried out by T cells and B cells. T cells carry immunity. The T cells mediated immunity is called as cell mediated immunity whereas B cell mediated immunity is called as humoral immunity as B cells will uh, involved in production of antibodies that will be secreted into the bloodstream. And the next one is the passive immunity where the person is not aware of the, of the protection of anti antibodies inside. Once in the case of a snake bite or an insect bite, what we are doing is we are directly injecting the antibodies into the system. That is antibodies that are made outside artificially will be injected into the system. So there is no contact with the pathogen or there is no, the, the, from the patient's point of view, there is no response. Immune system is not at all involved and that makes the passive immunity. And this is the summary of immune, immune, immune system and how it works. Hope things are clear. We will be discussing in detail all these things in, in later tutorials. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share and like. Thank you so much for watching.